Hey guys, this is D'Artagnan. Welcome to a new uh, Let's Play first look kind of uh, video. Uh, possibly could turn into a series later on the road. We're going to play a post-apocalyptic caravan trading survival open world kind of a game um, called Dust in the End. This game is currently available on Steam. It is on sale right now for $7.19. Um, until the 5th of January. Original usual price is $8.99. Um, I've played about 12 hours. Uh, the beginning of the game I'm very familiar with. I've done it a couple of times, but uh, as we go on, there'll be things I don't know. Um, so I'm hoping to give you guys a good look at this and see what you guys feel about it. So let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it. So uh, there is mod support. There's only two mods right now, so nothing really to kind of do there with that. Um, the developer is very active in the game. He answers all the questions on the forums himself. Um, I have asked several questions. They get back to you within within a day or so, uh, pretty quickly. But anyways, yeah, so let's jump on in here and see how this goes. I'm gonna do normal. Um, I, I tried normal all three times. It didn't seem like it was too bad early on. Once again, I never got really too far in the game yet, but okay. A woman. I like range combat always better than melee combat. You have different selections of heads you can choose here. Go with that one. Different hairstyles. We'll go with red. And then obviously different body looks as well. You can pick. I'm gonna go with that black one. That one right there. I guess those pants. Okay, so she's good to go. So these are her these are her abilities that she gets to use. Normal attack, uh, knowing, and then she gets repeating. Um, so I'm cool with that stuff. Uh, let's see here. And then this stuff right here is you get to pick character traits and then business traits. Uh, um, you get, like, about your caravan and stuff. So um, you can look at all these and see which one you want to use I think they do change yeah they do change a little bit based on your um, you know based on what you're using I personally like to have the 6% critical strike um, and then I like to do the one where it's uh, there's a 35% chance they're gonna go uh, into chaos which means they can attack anybody including their friends um, Now this one's kind of cool because after inflicting critical damage, uh, the hit is reduced by 14% for round two. So maybe maybe that might be good to have because that's a guaranteed thing that happens to the enemy. Um, but I'm gonna go with harass. Um, okay, now these are all. I don't, I'm not sure of the importance. Uh, water and food is something that's a guarantee you're gonna be using a lot of. Uh, the bigger your party is, obviously, I think you I think you have about the five people in your party. Uh, the bigger your party is, obviously, the more food and water you consume. Uh, you can increase the load, um, increase the marching speed. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, the coin transaction volume of shops in the city. I've actually found out that I've run out of coins in cities a couple of times, so I, I'm considering that one maybe. Uh, medicine recovery effect. That's pretty important. Um, and then uh, repairing your vehicles. And then 25% chance of, of escaping an enemy in the wild. Um, that one's not a big deal. Enemies don't really seem to be that big of an inconvenience, to be honest with you. They are kind of boring, but they don't seem to be like bad. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with with this one right here. Now you know what? I don't know. Um, oh man, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. We're gonna do uh, shops in the city transaction volume of shops in the city by 45 percent. So okay, we'll do that. Okay, we're good to go. Complete. Boom. Nice little intro here. It's not too long. Oh, 
Oh, and just a note, obviously the first language here is not um, English, so I know a lot of people have like negative reviews and things of that because of that, um, but you know, we gotta, we gotta understand that this is a person that's working very hard in this game, so there's gonna be some, you know, issues with that, and not, not let that affect your, uh, you know, your take on the game. Okay. Severe headache gradually wakes you up and you find an old man sitting in front of you. He placed the kettle in his hand on the table and looked upon you with his eyebrows. <coughs> Excuse me. Raised. Try to recall what happened the last moments before you collapsed in the desert, but you couldn't remember anything. Thank God you're finally awake. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jack, the village chief. People call me Old Jack around here. From your clothes, you're probably an undergrounder. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, this is where things get a little bit kind of like uh, somewhat um, with the dialogue and stuff, but you basically just ask them questions um, and they answer them appropriately. And then at the end, they're like, anything you'd like to ask? And so it kind of gets repetitive. So we're in Cactus Village. Um, this is a village in the Dune Zone. That's where we're starting at. We take our orders from Border Town. Okay, so that's the main city here. Anything else I want to ask? Okay, caravan saved me. They saw you had collapsed in the dune, so they brought you back. Unfortunately, we did send people to search the outskirts, but they haven't found anything yet. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Okay. So, I think, never mind, it's nothing. So, alright, here we go. Unconscious for six hours, you're fine. Besides a little dehydration, take this food and water. So they give us some food and water. Okay. With a heavy slam, the door opens up. A man and woman stood at the door. The man was a strong-looking black man who looked about 50 years old, draped in black robes. He was an overwhelming presence. As for the lady, she was a beautiful and seemed to be about 20 years of age, dressed in green. She looked petite and adorable. <laughs> uh, come in, please. Let me introduce, the, uh, introduce, inter introduce them to you. These are two of the caravan captains of our village. Pleased to meet you. I'm Reed. I'm the captain of Cactus Village Caravan. I'm good with hammers, and nobody can knock me down easily. My name is Anne. I'm also the captain of a Cactus Village Caravan. I'm a dead shot and good with rifles. According to the rules of the Wastelands, from the moment you were rescued, your life has since belonged to the Cactus Village. And now Reed and Anne are both shorthanded. You can choose which caravan you'd like to join. Now you have to make a choice. I'm going to choose Anne, even though logically you should probably choose Reed. If you're a ranged person, it probably makes sense to choose someone who's a melee. Um, but uh, Anne is adorable, and um, I've picked her every time, and I have no regrets, so what's what we're going to go with? All right, she's glad, I'm glad, you're glad. Since it's been decided, welcome, uh, welcome to become part of the Cactus Village Caravan. Okay. Old Jack left with Reed. From now on, we'll be partners. Now, please get ready to set off with me. We have an important task on hand. Is there anything you'd like to ask? So we go through the same thing again. Really want to save me. Wasn't too much trouble. You can't leave anyone who needs help in lurch. Anything you'd like to ask? Um, you said to the captain of the caravan. 
It's true, Reed and I were in charge of two respective caravans in the Cactus Village in order to su su supplement funds and exchange various goods. Quite a few towns have their own caravans, or we might possibly bump into them during our travels. Where are we going now? We, the Cactus Village, falls under the management of Border Town. Each quarter, we need to pay the Mayor Soresby taxes in exchange for protection. Seeing that the payment date is nearing for this coming quarter, we're still a short, and we need to make some runs to earn the shortfall. But you shouldn't have to worry too much about this. All we have to do is sell goods from one place to another where it is needed. Of course, the premise is that you have to know where to buy and where to sell. Head to the pub to find such information for a fee. Or for, for free. I'm not sure what that said. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I think we're good. I think we're still my dreams. It's alright. I'm sure you need some getting used to it. I'll tell you more gradually now. We need to collect 5,000 funds to pay the taxes in Border Town. You've just come in at the right time to co complete this mission with me. Alright. So, she gave us some salt. And we're going to take that salt to Tucker Village. They're going to give me a local map. Before long, she clearly marked the location of the towns and surrounding region. Okay. So here is the main UI. Okay. So let's go to our quest right here. Uh, this is our main quest. Uh, pretty, It's laid out nicely, I think, in my opinion. Um, the rewards are 10 XP and then Jack's Trolley. Super important to complete this task as quickly as possible because Jack's Trolley will increase your load of your caravan by 20 kilograms, which is super, super, super important. So, okay, so there's that. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Here's the map. Okay, thank you, Anne. All right. I'm gonna tell you all this stuff that she's talking about here in a second anyways. Okay, so basically this is the map. Uh, you can move around the map. You can zoom in and out the map if you want. Um, you can use the mouse wheel for that as well. Uh, left clicking on the map lets you do that. Um, so anyways, so basically if you want to go somewhere you just click on that point with the left click and it gives you a line. It tells you over here the time it will take. Fuel needed is done because we're not using vehicles. Tell you how much food you have uh, versus what you need. So we don't need to buy any food or water for this trip. You can drag these onto the marker to and add whatever you want to them. So these are individual markers you can put on yourself. Uh, as of now, we're going to quit the trip. Not going to actually go on the trip just yet. So also buildings in this. There's it's not very it's not super intuitive, but if you hover over stuff, it'll tell you what, whether you can interact with it. So if you want to go talk to old Jack, uh, you can do that. Um, we're not done with this yet, so it doesn't do us any good to actually click that. So we're going to leave. But that's how you would interact with a building. Just click on it. The shops are pretty straightforward. Here's the stuff you have on you. This is the stuff that they have on them. So that's basically what we're doing. Right now, we are we only have 100 coins left. I could buy one more of these. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have 100 left. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a point. That's like, technically, that's a point at 100, not actual. Yeah, what's it called? So anyway, so we're not going to buy anything. We're just going to leave. But that's where you buy stuff at. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to the map. Uh, Tucker Village, you go start trip and you automatically start heading in that direction. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, better not provoke wild beasts, bandits along the way, they could be powerful and hard to deal with. Of course, a fight breaks out, don't be merciful, give them a good beating. Alright, so usually when you start, um, when you start a what's it called, it takes you automatically. But whenever they have a pop-up like that, you're like you're kind of just on your own. So you, just, I mean, you you can see t uh, Tucker Villages in this direction. So you're basically just going to click on that direction on the map. We're going to speed up time. That's ridiculous. Um, and we're going to just walk across the desert here. And you can see in the mini map we're heading towards there. You can close that if you want, reopen it if you want. You can see how fast you're traveling. You can see your water and your food going down. And then um, we'll get to the camp feature in a minute here. Okay, we've arrived at Tucker Village. Uh, they produce some of the best leather and oil in the region. We have to sell all of our goods, then buy oil to sell it at Bayasha Village. Okay, if you're all set to go, let's head to Bayasha Village. It's just southeast. You can open up the map. Yeah, we know that. Okay. I'm not sure why that's getting cut off at the bottom there, but that's okay. All right. So um, let's go to the shop. 
So basically, basically when you're ready to sell stuff, you just click on what you want to sell. Uh, hit max, hit yes, boom, and then you hit deal. And then that's that's it. So we just made our money back. Uh, we need to find out how much food and water we need to go to Bayash. Bayasha? 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 If I pronounce this wrong, I apologize. I'm going to pronounce it wrong the entire time. So as you can see, these numbers are red now. So we need about six and a half food. We only have four. We need almost 13 water. We only have... It seems to be that that food is always half of what you need compared to water. You always need more water than food. That's, that's been in my experience this entire game. So if you need seven food, you need 14 water. That's basically been my experience. So um, we need to get, it looks like about um, five more food and um, eight more water. So let's just do that real quick. Put that. Eight, enter, five, enter. Okay, and then we need to buy all the oil that we can carry. Or if you want to make sure this is enough, you can hit deal. Um, and then go back to map, click on this, and now you can see that there's no red numbers. Now mind you, this is this is that 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 is an exact number needed to get to the village. If there's bad guys in the way or things you're trying to avoid and you go up or down to go around them, that that that, that very much so adds on a lot of time to your uh, whatever. And you'll get warnings that say food's running out, water's running out, um, you know, replenish supplies, whatever, those pop up almost every time you're traveling because usually people travel with just what they need. Like, I mean, we're we're only at 0 0.06 more kilograms of water than we need. So we're going to see that message. But anyways, we're good to go. We're, now we're going to buy all of the oil that we can. We're going to max it out. Boom. Yes. So we're buying 15 oil. That's a deal. And we're going to leave now. Uh, I should probably explain the rest of the stuff to you. I, I apologize. In the upper left of the village, usually there will be a something here. There's warehouses where you can you can store stuff. There's nothing here. You'd have to actually buy slots. Each slot costs 300. Um, I'm sorry. Each slot costs 50, 50, whatever those are. And you can store things in this warehouse. Other cities have warehouses. You cannot store thing. I mean, you can store whatever you want in those, but it doesn't. You can't cross reference. You can't see what you have in other warehouses. Um, Actually, you can if you go somewhere. There is, I'm sorry, there is a place where you can go and see your warehouses. I, I'm, I think, Once, if you have some, I'm pretty sure there is. But anyways, I am apologize for that. Um, okay, we did the map. Items, these are the items you care, you're carrying on you. You can organize them a little bit there. Um, I'm not sure what this would do. Yeah, I'm not 100% not sure what ban does. Maybe it means that you don't pick it up anymore or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what that does, but uh, once you get a vehicle, you'll, it'll be in here. You, you you click on the vehicle, you add a driver to it. Um, different vehicles have different things they can do, and they use some use fuel, some take durability damage. Uh, caravan is you and your party. I'm actually moving them around. I want you guys to be in the back row. Okay, so this is your party. Like I said, I think you can have up to five people. I'm not sure where it says it at, but I think you can have up to five people. Um, looks like you can have like healers and mechanics in your party, uh, and then uh, both melee and range DPS. Um, and you can click on individual people so you can see their stats, their health, um, their abilities, all that stuff is, is all listed on, on here. So, happy hour. After, complete, after a combat skill are released, there's a 20% chance of recovering 20 AP. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I was always wondering because it'll be like happy hour above her thing. Uh, she has uh, reduced uh, Anne's water and food consumption by 50%. That's pretty cool uh, for an individual thing, I guess. And it's got their ammo. They have, you know, you can get different weapons and different gear and things like that. So that's basically the this, this screen here. And then you have your quest screen where you can see reputation. Oh, there we go, property, I'm sorry. So if you go to property, you can click on the different um, areas and you can see what's inside the different things. Okay, so now we know. Okay, now is that everything? I think that is everything that we can do. This place has nothing else here besides this uh, shop right here. Okay, so did we actually buy our goods yet? We did not, yes we did. Okay, we're ready to go, we're ready to go. This guy's gonna fight me for sure. Yep. Okay. So, gonna be in our first combat here. That I usually avoid combat. It's kind of um, I don't know. It's it's that it's 
boring, you get such little XP for it, and the rewards are usually just stuff you don't actually want, so, or yeah, it might be food and water maybe at the best case scenario. But um, it would be cool if there was just a better chance to get something like maybe like a, a rare good or armor or something like that. I've gotten, I've gone, I've done plenty of fighting, and I've only gotten like a weapon like once or maybe twice, and a piece of armor like once or maybe twice. I don't know. It just kind of, yeah, I don't know. All right. Yeah, okay. So let's see, we got obviously it's turn-based combat up here based on uh, your speed and stuff. Um, so this guy's already losing some health, so that's good. We'll take him on. Um, usually, uh, I, and I don't know if you can adjust the turn order. Because to be honest with you, I almost want her to go first. I wonder if it's just positioning. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I move their positions or whatever. Because I really want to use her attack first, because she has a really cool ability. I'll just use a regular attack with him. And then hers, what she does is she um, damages a single target and increases the probability of that target being critically hit by 20%. In the next round, so I like that. So that'll that'll stay up there. Oh wait, it's just until their turn. Okay, so I need to. Oh shit, she's almost dead. Combat's really brutal, to be honest with you. At the beginning of the game, it's like it's it's pretty hard to to to, to uh like she might actually die here. Okay, so luckily the AI is completely dumb and they'll just attack whoever they want. So I don't know if I should heal her or not though. What does she have? She's got um. Oh, she has 109 health, so let's go and just try to kill this guy. Oh, he missed, so we're good. Alright. This pops up every single time. You get 10 XP and some coins. And like I said, it's not really worth it because to be totally fair with you, now I gotta go into items. It's almost impossible not to take damage or almost die early on in the game. Uh, I'm sorry, not items. Uh, go to Caravan, go to her, you gotta use at least one, probably two of those. Um, okay, so now, and then, then then it also takes you off your trajectory. Um, so like, it, like, like, let's say a guy was trying to fight you, whatever, but now you're heading in that weird direction, so you gotta like, kind of reposition yourself um, on the map a little bit. Sometimes. We were actually heading in, in, in the right direction, but... Yeah, so that's that. Those are the alerts. They're letting you know that you get below. I think it's below like two. Once you get once you get below two, the war, the warnings come up. Once you get to zero, you'll start taking damage. Whoops. There we go. But usually that doesn't. Okay. Beisha village is rich in mineral deposits with ample copper ore available. While well, it's producing lots of cloth. This is an enormous windfall, but just for for very few people. In fact, most ore miners can barely fill their stomachs with nothing more than disgusting bug meat. Very little food in the marketplace. I guess we can't expect to get enough supplies from here. The next time you come, it's best that you prepare more food and water. All the cooking oil from here will sell really well, and then we need to buy cloth to take the border town. Uh, this place sucks. The, they actually have plenty of food and water. The issue is how much it is. The food and water here, I've made an, I actually made an Excel spreadsheet. The food and water here is like four times the cost that it is almost anywhere else, um, if not more than that. I think at our starter village there, you can get water for like 25 cents and food for the same price. Whereas here it's nine, it's basically $9 for, for each one. And you obviously have to re replenish your stock. So, I mean, if you look at the map here, um, we're gonna go to uh, San San Zing Village because to go all the way to Border Town would just cost too much supplies. Then and then we wouldn't have enough material or enough uh, storage for it to actually bring the stuff we want. So we're gonna cut that down a little bit and just go here instead. So we need um, basically six more water and twelve more uh, or twelve more water and six more food. Is there anything here I can go to? Okay, there's a labor market. That is a place where you can buy uh, slaves. Um, these replenish. Oh, I thought they replenished. Um, yeah, so there's cheap labor, there's slightly better labor. Um, press shift to view trade log. Um, I haven't gotten into these. I'm not sure if they join your group or if or what or what the case is. To be totally fair with you, so um, I can't even buy. One. I can't even look at one anyway. So, but anyways, they're here. Refleshes monthly. 
for that guy. So anyways, we're going to go in here. I think I need a 12 water and six food. So we're about to spend 165 coin on something that should literally cost us, like I said, a quarter of that at, 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 at the most. That's a deal. And our goal here is to sell all of this. All right, so we're making some money. And then buy as much cloth as we possibly can. Now, I will say this. Um, we want to make sure you have enough food and w enough money to buy food and water for the next town. And I do believe this works out perfectly to work to allows you to do that. So even with this, with, with losing two, we're going to have like 70 gold left over to buy food and water for the next town. So we're going to go ahead and do that as a deal. So we got 60 gold or whatever, the 60 coins left to buy food and water at the next town. So, okay, that should be everything we need. So let's go to the map now. And you can see the numbers. Once again, they're white. And we're ready to start our trip. Yeah, whatever you said. We'll get the warnings here in a second about the food and water. Okay. Now we're not actually buying anything here. We're just here to um, to, to pick up food and water to go to the next um, the next the next area. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Nope. There's a warehouse. That's about it. Okay. So we're just here to get some food and water, and we need um six and like twelve basically. So let's see what we got here. There's different kinds of food. This is obviously better. You can see. Um, that the price is 20, the morale and immunity is 0, 0, weight is 1. Whereas this one has a negative 5 morale, negative 7 immunity, a weight of 1, only costs 715. At the beginning of the game, I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, I just wouldn't recommend spending too much money on stuff that you don't need until you until you get some better some, some like some better equipment or whatever. So I'm, I'm not, not too worried about it. Should be good, that's a deal. Okay, we're down to our nitty gritty with money here, that's fine. Go to the map, we're on our way to Border Town. Water available, ooh, we're short by one. But once again, oh, it's only 154. Shoot, 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 what am I gonna do here? Um, get rid of one of these, I guess. All right, let's check the map out now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, let's go. Definitely don't want to fight a level two dune robber right now, to be honest with you. Do not want to fight a level two. You can actually interact with the other caravans in, um, that are on the map. Um, I haven't really found any really good deals with them yet. Um, it's, uh, the, okay, now our food ran out. We're taking damage as of right now, but we're right there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, this is the most prosperous town in the region. You make a killing selling cloth here. There are many ways to earn money. You can slowly find out more about them. That's all I'm going to say now. It's all up to you. Don't forget to return to Texas Village once you've earned 5,000 in funds and look for old Jack. So that is basically them taking the leash off of us. Uh, for the, So now we're just on our, on our way to... Um, uh, so reputation now. We have Dune Civilization. Uh, let's see here. Civilians in the Dune. The Heine Gang. Crazy behavior, deeply disturbing. As a regional manager, border town turn a blind eye to it. On the other hand, food and water are still not guaranteed. Originally, with the livestock farming in Sarah Village and the crops in Texas Village, there was no problem with food and clothing. But since Soresby came to border town, the tax has been increased several times. As a result, a small number of people in border town don't have to worry about eating and drinking, but most people in the dune are struggling with hunger. In order to survive, many people choose to flee to other zones, which causes lack of labor and makes them even poorer. If the situation continues, this zone will soon be deserted. They're talking about the entire region that we're in right now. Uh, border town, okay, the earliest settlement in the dune zone. It's the biggest settlement. It rules the surrounding five villages, Cactus Tucker, uh, Baisha, Sarah, and Sanzing. With the expansion of family powers, Border Town was unsurprisingly taken over. The original mayor, Old Jack, was forced to leave and led his followers to establish Cactus Village since Soresby came here. Those who, those who resistant, who I'm assuming were, were resistant, uh, 
those who resisted okay, were, were su <laughs> suppressed by military force. However, this powerful enemy of the Hyena Gang suddenly appeared a few years ago. They secretly kept in touch with all villages, and due to Soresby's inaction, the Heine Gang gradually became stronger and stronger. Um, so these are reputation-locked goods that you can unlock based on reputation. You, reputation, I believe, by doing quests. In this town, you can go to the town hall, talk to Soresby, go to the tavern, go to the black market, buy vehicles, and you can shop. Let's take care of business first. We're getting rid of this cloth. They love it. Delicious. Okay, let's go to Black Market. This is where you can buy some weapons and armor if you want. Um, early on, one of the things I buy is this satchel. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. allows me to carry uh, three more kilograms of goods. Uh, you also want to get some medication. I'm going to get four of these. These can be used out of combat. Only out of combat. And then we have only two of these left, so I'm going to get two more of these. And we'll wait on the the, 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 the bigger injection. But you can get um, your, your ammo here as well. I might just get like three of these for now. And three of these. Okay. So we're going to buy that stuff. This is obviously not needed. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. Not the end of the world. Pick that up. Natalia, she's gonna get the satchel and the arrows. Okay. Um, so yeah, so here's the here's the vehicle workshop. You can buy these vehicles here. They give you the price, um, how fast they go, and the, the seats. So this is a two-seater. Uh, this is a one-seater, 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 one-seater. It tells you the how much they increased your load. These increase your load by 50, by 40. These by 60, and these by 110. But this requires fuel, so fuel is another cost you have to take into consideration when you do get this vehicle. But you also travel three kilometers faster than you do with the, the, the manual walking stuff. Prices are as follows, 8,000, 16,000, 50,000. Okay. If we go talk to Sorisby, all right, he will give you tasks to do. Um... Uh, purchasing sugar. My subordinate told me that Kexa Fields requires 20 sugar. Can you go to Border Town, buy them, and then deliver them? I'm actually going to do that anyway, so that's actually good, so I will actually say yes to that. Yep. Okay. I think he said 28. Alright. Uh, so these changed then, because I've never had these jobs um, before. Suppress Dune Den 4. Can you find destroy it? Okay. I'm not going to do that right now, but we can do that when we want. And then I'll leave. Okay, so we did the vehicle workshop, went there, we did the black market. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the tavern. The tavern, you can do recreation. This costs uh, cigarettes, are a, um, are a, a what's it called, um, a currency in the game. So if you want to, if you want to play this, you have to, you have to bet cigarettes. You can buy them, um, I believe, here in this town. But you can only buy a, short, a certain amount, amount at a time. I think you can buy like 20 at a time. You can go in here and hire mercenaries. I think this is how you increase your party. You can get uh, doctors. You can get um, mechanics. You can buy, get traders that have different benefits that can help your your caravan and stuff. You can get different things like that. Uh, you can get um, different uh, combat, uh, combatants to help you as well. Um... Yeah, so and they, and they come with different stats, different prices. The issue here is you got to understand is that you're paying a weekly salary for these guys. Weekly. A day goes by in this game in like 45 seconds when you're traveling on the desert. So um, you got to make sure you're bringing in money before you go ahead and just start spending dough on, on buying you guys. So Not to mention they come naked. You have to outfit them with weapons and stuff. So, uh, And then if you go to this thing, you can... Uh, seek information and he'll tell you hey man you get some salt um, and then sell it to the leather producing village which is um, Tusk Tusker so that's just that uh, you can get uh, information from him by giving him cigarettes um, you don't have uh, we don't have any so it's not gonna give us and you can take a break this will replenish I believe I don't know if I don't know if it's your maximum health but it gives you quite a lot of health towards your your whole party 
you can take a break and uh, they'll like do like a little cheers and have some fun or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, so what we're here for though is this. We're here to um, make some money. Now, as of right now, you guys don't know what to do and where to go and things like that. So I made a spreadsheet I'm using on my other monitor. And I know for sure that I can buy sugar from here and sell it at Cactus for a good profit. So I'm going to buy as much sugar as I can. Oh, no, hold on. Not yet. Whoa. See, I almost forgot the big thing. Got to find out how much food we need. Okay, we need uh, four food and about, looks like, five water. Okay, we could deal there. Once again, you can always check again the map. Oh. Still short. That's interesting. Oh, I'm, oh, I didn't realize it. It's easy to flip the numbers in this game. It's such a weird thing. So I need to buy one more water. Okay, and then sugar. Um, I can buy as much as I want. I'm gonna buy them all. Boom. That's a deal right there. And so, so I know that. Sh so because I made that spreadsheet, I know that sugar sells for a little bit of profit at Cactus, anyways. And it's also part of the mission we have. We need to sell them 28 or something like that. So we're ready to rock and roll. We can go to our missions right here and check that out. Jobs. Um, yep, we got it. And we're heading our our way to Cactus Village right now. Go to Sarah Village and buy 20 fertilizers. Hmm, interesting. Is that part of the? Why is that up here? I'm confused. But we'll, we're, we're going to do what we got to do right now first. So, Texas Village, here we come. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. Are you the hauler? Yes, is this what you want? Thank God, we've been waiting for a long time. Take this reward, you deserve them. Uh, so, we got some reputation in Border Town. And oh my god. We didn't get any money for that. We literally didn't get any money for that. Wow. Um, that's crazy. So that was, I mean, wow. We just lost like a lot of money. That's insane. I cannot believe that the game would like let you just be like, oh yeah, that, that is insane. I'm, wow, I'm, I'm, sh I'm actually blown away right now. Okay, so that's a learning thing, I guess. That's So that's that's weird. Okay, so now we're like really behind. That's awesome. Wow, okay, so 6 and 12. Um, Jesus, remedy. And 6. Okay. And then what we need to do now is buy as much salt as we can. It's not going to be a lot. Jesus, criminy. And now we have to be super careful. Now we're yeah, like we're behind the ball now. Wow, this is nuts. I can't believe this. Dune hyenas are not really any stronger than other mobs, but they're really fast. So from like a long range, they can kind of run after you. Oh, man, this is tough, dude. I cannot believe that we just got totally screwed like that. And that's something that's like, if that was any closer on money, that could have been like game ending right there. Like that could have been like a thing where like, I mean, you can go back and, and look at your saves, I think, um, right here. You got auto saves one and two. So we could have went back, whatever, but it's kind of like, I don't know. That's kind of like, oof, that's rough, dude. All right. So we're going to sell this to them. Boom. Yep. 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 Got a deal. Okay. So now we're up to 600. We need to buy one of these at least. So let's hope, let's hope we have enough money for that. Let's look at the map real quick here. We're trying. We're going right to Border Town from now on. So that's seven and fourteen. Okay, so seven, fourteen. Okay, and then we can buy one leather. Yes, we're gonna buy one extra of each of these. Deal. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing instead of doing what I was doing is simple. Instead of me buying oil from here and selling it here I'm just buying leather from here and selling it here because the leather profit is like 200 per leather piece um, it's just a much better it, and then you go here and you spend so much more money on your food and water and then there's nothing you buy here to sell whatever you buy here the cloth is the best value and you're selling it from here all the way over here it's such a long trip 
Um, it's just this this triangle here I found to be one of the better deals in the game. So that's what we're that's what we're doing. So we're gonna start our trip. Get ourselves out of the negative here. You can stop and grab these things in the way. I never really do. They're never really usually worth it. I mean, we'll go out of the way a little bit and grab this one to see what it is. I mean, let's see here. What do we get? What do we get? Sugar times four. That's not too too bad, but also not super necessary. Um, and we got some water times five. That's not, that's actually pretty good. Saves up some uh, some stuff. Okay, so here we are now, Border Town again. Uh, this leather will get us 500 right there for that leather. So that's great. We'll take that. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the map again. Uh, four and eight. Okay, that's a deal. And then we're going to buy as much sugar as we can. Max that out. Yes. That is a deal. We already had four, so that's actually pretty good. That, pretty cool that we found those extra, those four extra ones. So, okay, at this point, we're just trying to avoid dude robbers. I mean, you could fight these guys. If I had a little more money, I'd, I'd actually start fighting the level ones to kind of level up, but uh, not super necessary. Okay. As you can tell, as of right now, it is getting better. It is getting better. We just we just doubled our money since the last time we were in town. So that's so you can tell that there's definitely us. Uh, you know, we're we're getting a little more money every time. Okay, um, we need six and seven. It looks like. much salt as possible. Okay. On our way. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, real quick. So this tent feature is here in case there's a sandstorm. Um, the only issue with the sandstorm is that it comes out of nowhere. And if you're not by a, a city, you're pretty much going to be stuck on the open until it surpasses you. And it takes about a day or two for it to blow over. And in that whole time, you're losing your food and water. Uh, and it's hurting you. It does damage to you. Then when it, it ends, like, it also, also, you cannot, I don't think you can enter a village. Or maybe you can enter the village, but you, but you can take shelter, but you can't, you can't, you can't do any spending there. You can, but you can take shelter there, I think. Uh, but you still run out of food and water, even though you're in the village. So sandstorms are crazy, not fun. They're 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 very detrimental to the game. Um, they move very fast. You can't outrun them. Um, and and yeah, so but you can heal through them if you go to if you're if like let's let's say there was one on right now. You go to caravan and you can heal your your party members as they take damage to uh, to try to offset it. But. The first time I encountered one, it killed me. I had to reload the game like five times before I finally realized I could heal myself in between the um, in between those things, whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna sell this salt max. Boom. All right, now we're getting. Now we're starting to get somewhere. We're starting to get. We're starting to get there. You know what I mean? Um, I should probably just write this down. Four leather now, right. We are definitely making some progress here. Copper ore, that's beautiful. Oh, level two dude, Robert, don't want to fight that guy. Nice, all right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the leather is definitely going to be worth something. Okay, we're dead. we're making good deals here. Okay, uh, let me look up my. Give me two seconds here. Okay, so what I got here? I got some copper ore. 
I can sell that to Border Town for the best profit, so it's good that we're here right now. And then what's this over here? This is Ro 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 That sells for the best at Sarah Village, but I'm not going to go all the way down there, although I could. Um, just out of curiosity, remember that one? So that, si that job is still not there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now that we have a little bit more money coming in, we're doing good on medical supplies still. We haven't fought anyone since then. Um, let's go ahead and sell the copper ore as well. Uh, let's should I get rid of this here too. Border Town gives me 17. What does Cactus give me? Cactus gives me 20. All right, so I'll keep that for Cactus, I guess. And now we just need our food and water. Should just write this down. Four and eight. It's always four and eight every single time. And then as much sugar as I can carry. So now we're getting to the point where it's not about money, it's about carrying capacity. So each sugar takes up one weight. You only have 51 weight. Okay? So now, now you're going to see that we have we have plenty of money left over, but we're running out of space. That's why it's important to get carts so you can carry more goods. Um, okay. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, let's fight this guy. Uh, our AP here is only 25. This would cost me um, 20. So if I use either one of these APs, I can't use her AP. So I'm just going to do a regular attack. Ouch. And then hers, like I said, I'm going to use this one again where it gives them a 20% chance to... Uh... But wait, he's going to go first. And it goes away. Okay, I got to remember that. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so uh, we're going to use a heal on her. Wait, no, on her. She's going to hopefully maybe kill this guy. Happy hour. Nice. Oh, she's confused. That's not good. Ouch. Alright, he's dead. Shit. So what he used was repeating. Uh, there is a 30% chance that if you do an attack, you'll get another one. It, it, I, I almost kind of wish you could pick your attacks on your characters at the beginning because, like, I don't know. It's 30%. I wish there was a way to put points into it to make it better or whatever because, honestly, I'm going to use it now just because, but it, I feel like it rarely ever actually works. Okay, so that's funny. And the, the attack you use next, you can use whatever you want. So you could use you could use this as much as you wanted to, and just hope that you get it to ping three times in a row, whatever. And so we got lucky here. And that's really that's that's how I feel the combat is at the beginning. It's like it just seems like it's really just luck. Like your gear is horrible, their gear is the same, but it's like I don't know. It's just thankfully the AI A doesn't attack this person repeatedly, and B. Um, seems to miss slightly more than you do. But that's really all, all that really keeps you alive, to be honest with you. So, And then now, like I said... Okay, wait, where are we going? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going the right way. Okay. Um, and the only place you can buy supplies to heal yourself is in Border Town. And the only place you can you can get healing at by doing a, um, like the, the whole, you know, take a rest or whatever is in Border Town. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like maybe there should be a couple more places where you can, you know, rest up at and stuff and get your health back. Otherwise, I do think your health does re does recover over time as you're walking to the desert, but probably not that great with uh, the crap that we that we have on us. All right, that's the deal. Now we're up to 3,000. This is going very well. Uh, once again, it is going to be 6 and 12. What am I doing here? 
Honestly, what I should do is just double it, right? Because it's much cheaper here than it is the next place. Oh, no. The, but the, See, but the issue is you want to carry goods, though. So it's like, it's such a weird, it's like you just got to really think about what you're doing, to be honest with you. So Because you want to be able to carry as much salt as possible. And you can't, and if you, the more you take of this, the less you can carry of that. So it's like just this thing where it's just like, you know. All right. All right. We're on our way. Map. Man, that quest really screwed me over big time. Really slowed down the progress of the first mission there. Uh, we'll go. We'll talk to the antique trader real quick just to see what he's got. I don't think it's anything important, but hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. okay. You can attack, leave, or trade. So he carries this stuff. I've actually bought this book and this paper. I have not found a use for it yet in my current playthrough. Um, he also has this pork and the water. Uh, the water is uh, not the greatest price, but it's not super crazy. And uh, as far as I know, pork. This is the only person that sells pork as of right now that I found so far. So. But nothing really to do here. You can sell him some stuff. Um, I do have him in here. Um, he will buy cigarettes for a pretty decent price. Um, he'll buy cloth for a decent price. Um, but ultimately, uh, he'll buy iron ore for the highest price. So he buys iron ore for a very, very good price. Uh, but ultimately, not something you seek out on, on, you know, on a regular basis. So. And once again, I don't know everything about the game, so I could be completely off base. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're here to sell the salt. Nice. That's a deal if I've ever seen one. Okay, so we're up to 4,500 now. And we need to go to the map. And this is going to be 7 and 14. Okay. And as much leather as we can. We're up to 10 now. Nice. This is getting crazy good. Crazy good. Crazy good. Oh, man. That's an... Oh, and by the way, another reason why I like to go after the leather, because it's a high-priced item. It's not going to max out my weight. Like, like if I'm doing sugar and smaller quantity stuff that doesn't cost as much, I, I, can, I get to a limit where I can only carry so much. So for me, I'd much rather spend money on expensive things uh, high profit, high margin, and also I can carry more of it than, you know what I mean? So it just makes more sense, in my opinion, to do it that way. Now we have enough to finish the first mission, but I'm going to do one more rotation before I do that because I just want to make sure I have a little extra money before I go ahead and just give him. Well, actually, he only takes 4000 gives me the cart, so maybe, maybe I'll do it right away then. Maybe. We'll, we'll see how much money I have left over here. Okay, so rat meat. Uh, this is 4 and 8, so let's just do that. 4 and 8. And then we're going to buy as much sugar as we can. Boom. Yes. Um, and that should be everything we need there. We're going to leave. Uh, back to the map. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Wait, you know what? Not let's go. No, no, we didn't go black market yet. Black market. We need three more of these. I'm going to actually buy two of these now. Yeah. Okay. So we might, not actually, we might not actually have enough money when we go over here. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, we need to get one more water, one more food now, because we spent that. Oh, no, I can't carry more. Okay, well, we're going to just, we're going to wing it. Shouldn't be too bad. We sh should still make it. Just be a little bit short. Fuck you, dude, Robert. Okay, good. We'll just be a little bit short here. We're going to take a little bit of damage. It shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so we're at 5,396. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go to Old Jack. Okay, so let's do our quest here. Okay. Yes, we've earned the money. And whispers, listen, Old Jack has already prepared some money before we set off, so we don't need to give him everything that we earn. 
Otherwise, whatever we give him access will be pocketed by him. Okay. In fact, we already have 4,000 gold now. We're just a little short of 5,000. And he takes the 4,000, so that's great for us. No big deal. All right, so... Um, he's going to add his own money to that stash there. He's reluctant to do so. Quick, take these funds to Border Town and, and to Soresby to exchange for the anti-beast anti drugs. Okay, we'll get it... We'll get really tired of carrying such heavy goods. Yes, of course, I can understand that, if you didn't say so. I already prepared this situation. This trolley has accompanied me for many years, now belongs to you all. Take over the trolley, thanks. We'll set off now to Border Town. How stingy. He's pretending to help by giving us some broken junk. We can use this vehicle to increase <laughs> the low capacity of the caravan. You look terrible. Is there, a, is there any problem? Uh, what about vehicles? Okay, collective term used by any means of transportation. Okay, only, board, only Border Town is a vehicle shop within the region. Vehicles lose durability as you use them. You'll need to repair them. Okay, we know that. All right. They look terrible. What's with the bug beasts? There are bug beasts out there. We haven't fought any yet, but they're just they're just sand creatures. Okay. Um, dull bug beasts is lethal. Uh, they can also poison you, which is actually really annoying. Um, okay. I don't know why I keep looking terrible, but that's all right. Um, okay. Oh, so the anti-bug beast drug is something that they spray around the town, I think. Um, to make it so that they don't attack you, basically. Okay, we're done with that. All right, let's go. Okay, so we go to the quest. We'll, ch we'll look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. We'll go over here now to vehicles. So here's the vehicle. If you click on it, you can see there's a spot here. We go ahead and I'm going to put Ann on there. So now the, now the vehicle has a driver. It's a wheelbarrow. It's not a vehicle, it's a wheelbarrow. But anyways, um, so now she, now we can carry 20% more, 20 kilograms of extra goods. Uh, we kept a thousand of that money, so now we are going to go in here and we're going to get six food and 12 water, and the rest will be all salt. Boop. Deal, leave map. Now we're supposed to go to Border Town, but we're going to do a, a loop first. I mean, why not make some money on the way? It's, we're not we're not in any rush to get there. It's not a whatever, so. Wait, did I ever heal these guys? I did not. Okay, that's probably a good thing to do. We'll give one of those. What does this give? This gives us 100. I should have used that. I don't know why I didn't use that, but it's fine the way it is. Okay. And got a headache. For using crappy food and water, we get debuffs in this game. I'm not even sure what they do, to be honest with you. Let's check this out. Um, she's got a headache. Her hit's minus 20%, mood's minus 5%. She's sad, not happy. Um, she's gentle and healthy, so that's good. Um, so, that's just one more thing you gotta think about. Deal, okay, and now we need seven of these. 14 of this and all the leather we can carry. Okay. Head to Border Town. Uh, the uh, effects that they have on them will go away over time. I wonder if it does it stay somewhere? I don't think it does. Oh yeah, countdown 39 hours until that goes away. Okay. Uh, let's hope the Border Guard beats the Dune, the Dune Robber. Yeah, they did easily, okay. Talk to the Dune Silly real quick here. Yeah, okay, whatever. Trade. Oh, you get absolute garbage on you. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <clears throat> okay, we made it to Border Town again. And we're going to sell our leather. <coughs> uh, let's go ahead and turn in the quest. Okay. Oh, what brings you here? Mayor, we've come here to pay... The next quarter's tax is on time. Carried over a box of money while talking. That's nice of you. The amount this time is a lot more than last. Please send my regards to your village chief. Ordered servants to bring anti-bug beast drugs while speaking. Lord Sorby, this is an additional 50% according to the previous agreement. We hope you will give priority to supply us. The Cactus Village with a few men ever since. Yes, I haven't forgotten. 
but we're also short on manpower. Such a large town taking charge of so many villages. We need to deploy people everywhere. However, the last time we joined forces to eliminate the bandits, the Cactus Village was the forefront, yet the militia we lost has not been replenished. Calm down. Listen to me. I just bought a dozen undergrounders from a group of merchants. It cost me a good, a good penny to buy these fools. Now that the Hyena Gang has stolen it, if you can recover it somehow, these men will be yours to keep. Do you know how much an undergrounder costs in the wasteland? How, how is it? You've made quite a killing for this deal. Okay. It's a bunch of people wearing beak masks. Beak mask? Yes, it was. It was sold to me by some merchants wearing beak masks. All right, thank you, Lord Sorsby. I haven't seen this person beside you before. They're talking about me. Is he your newly? I love how it's he, but she uh, recruited mercenary. My friend is also undergrounder, and he, once again, mispronunciation, has now joined the Cactus Village. The only good thing about these undergrounders is their good physique. They are unlike the natives from the wastelands who become useless past the age of 30. Well, that's nice. If there's no issue, I won't be seeing you off now. I won't be seeing you off now. Okay, farewell. Oh yes, I'll reward you handsomely if you can find out the location of the Heine Gang stronghold. I've hired more people this time around. I just need to find where they are. With these people, it won't even need to be afraid of a bug beast siege the city. Okay. It looks like we have no choice but to look for the undergrounders that Sora's we mentioned. The village is too short-handed. Seeing your look of confusion, here we go with these questions again. What is the Heine Gang? Okay, five years ago we had Mark a whole bunch of lunatics to the region. They're like to rear hyenas in captivity as tools for combat. Eventually, Soresby in, in, in actually caused them to grow in power. Okay, I'm confused still. She wants to know what else. No one is willing to tell him that that no one would bother to speak to him if not for the anti bug beast drug. Okay. Are you sure that these undergrounders are not are my wait are my companions? Whatever. I can't really say, but the Cactus Village really needs them. It'll be clear when we find them. Seeing your look of confusion, and I look at you. okay. So we're going. All right. Since we hardly come to Border Town, why don't we head for a quick drink at the pub? You can find information about merchandise and relics over there. Recruit missionaries, or even play a hand of poker. Uh, what's our status on? Okay, we're we're a little bit low, a little bit lower on. Um, we've got all this stuff. That's crazy. Um, okay, so if we go to the tavern, we'll we'll do a quick. Um, Take a break, I guess. We burned it. As you can see, they got their health back. Okay, we got this one going on here. This one going on here. Okay. Um, we're here for a mission, though. We got to get four of these, eight of these. Uh, here's where you can buy the cigarettes at, but they're one they're one fifty six a piece. So I mean, you know, if you want to get information and things like that, you got to pay money for that stuff. So okay, forty two sugars. That's a deal if I've ever seen one. And we are on our way. And now, did you notice that I could buy forty two sugar because we increased our load, and now we can do that. Um, arena. The arena is really cool. Once you get to like level two and you maybe get like a better weapon or so, you can do the arena every once a month. And if you beat three, and you can use heals and stuff between the combats, I believe. But anyways, uh, the bottom line is if you beat three series of enemies, um, you get a reward, which is usually a blue level weapon or something like that, and and you get ten thousand, and it costs you five thousand coins to enter, and you win ten thousand. So you win you win five thousand coins, and whatever the item is, if you don't need it, you can always sell the black market for probably a couple thousand. So it's it's a pretty pretty lucrative way to either a get something you might need, um, or b um, you know make some money. So pretty cool. On our way. Okay, come on, let's get there. All right. All right, well, anyways, we've been playing for an hour and five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am going to continue right from this point um, in the video. 
Uh, let's hope that, you know, uh, things continue to be going well. I'm not sure if I should edit things out. Um, let me know what you think about the fact that, like, I mean, when I'm going from, you know, Cactus to, to Tucker, back to whatever, and just making money doing those trips, I don't know if that's something that really needs to be in the, you know, like on here, whatever. Um, but let me know what you think overall about the video, okay? Uh, take it easy, guys. If you have any questions or if you have comments for me, if you have something you noticed that I did that I could have done better, please let me know. Once again, I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.